nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ben, your host. So in this video, when it comes to watchOS 10, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the fourth developer beta, which is the one that I'm going to be updating to today and testing the update just to see what are some of the new features and changes that this update has to offer. So for me on my Apple Watch Ultra, you can see that this update size comes in at exactly 599 megabytes. And this seems to be the average update size for the Apple Apple Watch Ultra. Now, this is not all that Apple released when it comes to software updates. In fact, when you look at my iPhone right here, you can see that yesterday there was a number of updates that were released and that was on July 24th. We had iOS 16.6 as well as iPadOS 16.6. We also had macOS 13.5, watchOS 9.6 and tvOS 16.6 .6. that wasn't even all if you had an older iphone device apple recently just released ios 15.7.8 as well as ipad os 15.7.8 so that was yesterday and then for today if you go to the apple developer page or apple beta page you can see ios 17 beta 4 ipad os 17 beta 4 mac os 14 beta 4 and we also have watchOS 10 beta 4, which is the video that I'm going to be covering and tvOS 17 beta 4. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date and get to know what's new within this operating system, definitely do give me a sub so that you stay up to date. Now, I've updated my device and um, I'll just go into the settings here, go to general and go to software update just to verify it is up to date and we'll go to where it says about and you can see the new build number that we have here with this watchOS 10 beta 4. It's 21R5320i. Now this build number has an I and in terms of stability, it does take a few steps forward compared to the previous beta three that I was on before. So that is a plus. And now let's look at some of the changes that this update has to offer. If you are coming from watchOS 10 beta three or beta two, and the first thing here that I have to highlight has to do with the maximum health capacity for the Apple Watch Series 6. So there have been issues previously with different owners mentioning that when updating to beta 2 or beta 3, it seems to drop. And in the release notes of this update, there seem to be a further recalculation of the maximum health capacity for the Apple Watch Series 6. So for me on the Apple Watch Ultra, although this is not affected, I would like to highlight that this device has been holding the maximum capacity quite good. You can see it's on 100%. My previous device, the Apple Watch Series 7, by now, since I keep this device on beta, by now, if I'm comparing the two devices, it would have been somewhere on 96 or 95. So Apple Watch Ultra is doing good when it comes to this. And when it comes to this update, I'll be happy to specifically mention that it fixes an issue that I was experiencing that had to do with the Siren app failing to activate so you would go and try to activate it and it wouldn't work for me on my apple watch ultra and either way whether i would go into the siren application itself and then try and activate it from here that was being affected or i would have to press and hold the side button like this and then you'll be able to see the siren begins to ring but on beta 3 that was an issue and i was getting a prompt that said that that had failed so that's a fix and then when it comes to workouts especially for the new workouts that watch os 10 improves that is outdoor cycle and outdoor walk to be specific because i tested outdoor cycle on beta 3 i was experiencing an issue whereby it wasn't automatically detecting my outdoor cycle i believe when i was doing this i actually took a screenshot but i'll put it on the screen so that you can see and i also tweeted about this so if that is something that you are experiencing i'll be happy to let you know that watch os 10 beta 4 fixes that issue now there's also an uh, 
fix when it comes to updating the device if you saw my last video of watch os 10 beta 3 you probably saw that i had an issue where i had to first update my iphone and then i tried to update my apple watch to watch os 10 beta 3 but for some reason it didn't work i had to go into my apple watch application here and then go to the watch settings and then switch off the developer section it just takes a moment to load so i had to go into here switch off this developer profile and then try and update again and then only after doing that i was able to see beta 3 but with watch os 10 beta 4 that is an issue of the past now when it comes to the new watch faces that are here there really isn't any ui changes or any functional changes that i've noticed the seems to be functional similar to what we had on beta 3 so that is not an issue at this point in time and then when it comes to the health app i'll be happy to let you know that we do have a few additional changes so if you open your health application you can see here you have a new pop-up screen that shows up and this iphone has been updated to ios 17 beta 4 so you can see here you can uh, share your data with apple or not share i'll just share because i don't mind and then if you go to the browse section and you go to mental well-being this section has been updated and if you go to logging your emotions and mood if you click there you'll be able to see that this support mental well-being pop-up screen comes up again and then you can begin and when you click how you felt overall today right here you can click next and you'll see that the colors under this health section have been improved they look a bit more darker and rich and even the text that we have here with the previous beta it used to be blue but at this point in time this is all grayed out and that is something that's good and you can see as you change this bar here the colors look a little bit richer compared to what we had on the previous watch os 10 beta 3 overly this is a plus for mental health and also when it comes to the weather app i'll be happy to let you know that there seem to be very minor wording and font changes so for example if you click here you can see different things and then you can you know switch between the uv index or whatever you want to look at and that is something that you might want to check out when it comes to this update but other than that it's just front and wording changes nothing major in the weather application and it's detecting my location pro properly which is a good thing now also when it comes to trying to type a message like for example if i go to tech hype and try to type you can see this pop-up screen comes up on my keyboard right away unlike what we had before and here unlike what it was doing where it would connect and connect forever on watchOS 10 beta 3 this is now awesome and i can begin to input my text right here which is good and you can see there's no delay between the communication of the iphone and the apple watch that is a plus and when it comes to basically the update in itself if we look at the release notes that apple released pertaining to watch os 10 beta 4 there isn't a lot that was said it's just similar to what we had on beta 3 and i had to test and find most of these changes here but uh, other than that do keep in mind that this update still has a bunch of issues as you can see here and uh, things that uh, might pop up as you use your apple watch device the the major one was having application default application and third party applications not load up but at this point in time i haven't yet tested that i will do and then i'll let you know on my social media handles now when it comes to the battery that will take a bit of time to be able to test and let you know and also when it comes to when the public beta of this update is going to be released i would say in about a day or two it should be coming out i don't see there being any major issue online that has been stated so if you are wanting the public beta 2 or public beta 4 depending on what apple names it look forward to that in about a day or two now the next beta which is watchOS 10 beta 5 i'm estimating a two-week release cycle so that would make it released somewhere between the 7th to the 9th of august now 
other than that that's about it for me when it comes to watch os 10 beta form if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace it don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, Regalia AK, guns for me, day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the